It's the weirdest thing. I have this piece of paper and I have this marker. What am I supposed to do? Now, I think even someone with a trained eye would tell you that at first glance, there was nothing wrong with what was going on at the moment. We had shored up the edges of the property with huge mounds of dirt and some wooden embankments in certain places according to the whims of our defense advisor, and we managed to sleep well the first few nights before the attack. <sighs> but you know what they say, the best attack is a good defense, and that's just how they got to us and, and stole the land right from out of our securely buttoned pockets. Stunned, even years later, I run my fingers across the bumps and notches left in the wooden balustrades, and there are probably little crumbs of shattered glass lost and lodged in corners and crevices we'll never find. Coffee was handed to me on a little platter next to a sweet cake, and I did a little bit of dip work with the two before taking each separately. I would like to invite someone over and drink coffee with them, but not talk to them, just enjoy them, enjoying it out of the corner of my eye while I took my own dutiful sips and stared out over the patio table. All the trees had grown back by now, and the grass came back in clumps, and I liked it that way. A little bit of bare dirt was good for contrast and good for the eyes, and you could hop from grassy patch to patch if you wanted to keep your shoes clean. If anyone had been watching from the house, I would have looked peculiar on my morning walks. Sometimes I imagined so hard that I convinced myself it was true. I was sure someone was watching. I was sure someone was listening at all times. I would talk to myself, to them, in the car while I drove. I would talk so loudly so, th so they could hear me clearly from wherever they stuck the bug and I made sure they knew, I knew, they were listening. But how convincing did I have to be? If they realized I was just guessing and making stabs in the dark, then, then their surveillance would be more effective than ever. Years later, I sold that car and all the government technology, no doubt, stashed away in the nooks and crannies and door panels. Some guy came to pick it up with a truck and a trailer and took it out of my life. And I kept talking to myself out of habit sometimes, letting all my deepest secrets seep out of my mouth when no one was looking. <laughs> <laughs>